And then next up, you know, great item, terrible episode, the pentagram. Yeah, you know, I take a little bit of ownership of that. You know, maybe I was un- under the influence of El Diablo. Ooh, um, Satan you know, himself. I was really the villain of this podcast, much like the villain of Edmund McMillan's previous game, Super Meat Boy, Dr. Fetus. Yep. Who has a reasonable st- item, reasonable episode. Yep. We're straight middle of the road on both. Uh, mm-hmm. Unlike the politics of the next item, Magneto. Yep. Magneto. <laughs> Will. <laughs> the, uh, that was a lot of fun that we had with that. And we have a lot of fun here on Everything to Guppy. But one thing that's not fun is Boss Sunday. Boss. So take a chance and face the boss. An open road and a road that's hit. A brand new boss. Around the boss. Gary, do you actually feel that way? No, I actually think Boss Sunday's pretty fun. I don't think this one's going to be fun. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We could honestly just do some more <laughs> retrospective. Yeah, if we decide not to make another joke, I, like, I suppose if we decide our joke making time was done and we don't have to work anymore. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Gary, who are we talking about tonight? Everything to go be the Binding of Isaac podcast. Um, the Wretched. Yeah. Um, so this is a real triumph of art design and a real boring of video game design. Yeah. Uh, it's a posthumous boss. Mm-hmm. Let's say the nice things about him. I like the, I like the posthumous bosses. It's what happens to the widow. Yep. Uh, does not get any beefier, huh? Nope. It does. It's still very much a wuss. Um, they so open it, so shut its top mouth, mm-hmm. which I like. Nice little detail. Seems like a nice courtesy for 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 its mother in the casket, you know? Yeah, so this is a big spider thing on four legs. Uh, yeah. And the truly amazing thing about it that I don't think I'd ever processed before is that it has it, had its feet replaced with thumbs. I think they kind of look like little penny loafers. Like little Mickey Mouse shoes or something. Okay, no, those are thumbs, dude. Or maybe they're big toes, but... Yeah, they look like, I mean, they, I can see them being toes as well. I think they also kind of look like comically oversized shoes, though, in like a cuphead Disney kind of way, too. Sora. Sora. In a Sora way. Sorry. Sora head. Gary, am I going to, um, like, cause you trouble in life if I talk about the Kingdom Hearts VR experience on here? Um, You won't cause me trouble in life, but you did already tell me about it. Okay, that's right. That's on, right. On a premium podcast. Oh, that's shit. That's right. So, it's, it's quite all right. I, I did, did not cause me trouble. I did. Th- I thought it was funny as well. Okay. Just being able to look down and just see those big yellow shoes. New Gary loves Dragon Ball Z jokes. Yeah. <laughs> loves hearing about Kingdom Hearts for some reason. Gary, Actually, I don't even want to joke about that. If you tweet me Kingdom Hearts, I'll block you. Gary. So, yeah. so like, say, Gary, did you Marie Kondo your taste? Yeah, I just decided, yeah, I don't care whether things are good or bad. Uh, it all comes in here. It's like the reverse Marie Kondo. I just welcome it all in, you know? Yeah, you finally embraced my perspective on life where it doesn't matter if good or bad things happen to you. Yeah, it's just, I am agnostic to quality. Yeah. The, uh, the, 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 the Willow Hughes method. You should write a book about that where you pick up every item in your life and you're just like, this thing doesn't fucking matter. And then you, you do, you neither get rid of it nor keep it. I mean, you're right, Gary, but my life would be exactly the same regardless of whether I did it or not. So might That's as well true. not. Somebody else should do it for yeah. you. Like you need, you need like a Tony Clifton character <laughs> to get to come or like a Robert Zamuda or whatever. Gary, do I hear a, a volunteer? <laughs> yeah you do will <laughs> okay, okay this is not the character i thought i was gonna get but sure well, uh, i only have one character in me because i'm sleepy <gasps> sleepy gary i know i'm sleepy baby google's brother i always feel weird calling you sleepy gary because that is a rick and morty character oh yeah he's the, like the rick and morty guy is <laughs> like did a meme review thing with elon musk i can't man i can't i just yeah. can't i my brain it's like I like that show, and it's like, do you guys are really trying to make me hate it. Like, oh. yeah, no one should do anything, and no one should be successful. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've come along, I've come around on your perspective. Yeah, welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. It's been a good week for it. The year that was March. Um, <sighs> we should say what this thing does. It jumps. It jumps around. Yep, it jumps. Jumps around. Jumps around. It jumps around. Yeah, it gets up and then it gets down. Um, it doesn't spawn little sacks. Instead, it spawns spiders. Yep. Or like either two or a big one or the uh, trite spiders, which are the Legend of Zelda big four legged fellas. Uh huh. Um, and sometimes uh, it spawns creep and shoots uh, bullets. Oh, she's dead. Oh, 
Oh, yep, yeah, you were talking late. too long. She's gone. <laughs> yep, you did not get to do a uh, do enough things. Yeah. The um, yeah. Um, here's some trivia here. Yeah, Gary, lay some trivia on me. Put it. Yeah, yeah. I, smack it right strange. down on the stick horse. <laughs> you know, here's here's your stick horse with the trivia for this episode. The word wretched means to be in an unfortunate state, which refers to the okay. So far, so good. Which refers to the wretched's stitched upper mouth yeah. and multiple bumps on her face. Gary, I gotta say that all tracks. I don't know if that's what. Yeah, she seems pretty wretched. Also, she got toes for feet. She does have toes for feet. She does have a stitched upper mouth. Sounds gross. Her I mean, delirium like form really looks like a like a. It's kind of cute. <laughs> like an old man. Yeah, like a, like a crank. Hey it's hey like Doc there. Brown. If Doc Doc Brown's posthumous form. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> The, um, yeah, you know. like it has the appearance of like, yeah, Einstein eyebrows. Yeah, big, 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 uh, poofy eyebrows. Man, I hope I, my eyebrows just keep getting bigger as I turn to an old man. I mean, there's ways, there's ways we could do that, man. What are, what are those ways? Hair transplants. I guess that's true. I we get, get your eye plugs. Tensions. That'd actually be pretty rad. You know, I, I, I've, uh, would you, if I dyed my hair like a color that was, I th- was thinking about dyeing my hair gray. Gary, you had me like, if, if I died. Oh. <laughs> God, I'm in a mood tonight, huh? Yes. Yeah. It's like, had you. Like, <laughs> in that sentence. Like, um, but, but no. I just, like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's, inter- let's interact with this idea. Yeah. I was, th- I was thinking about doing that. Uh, just because it's like, you know, I don't know. Why what? not? Maybe what shade cool. of gray? Like, like a dark gray. Like okay. So steel. you're not, you're not going to like Anderson Cooper it. No, no, no. I don't think I'm you can gonna... get away with Anderson Cooper. I don't think so either, but I, I kind of, I always kind of like looking old okay. and I, and I trend to my beard and I look younger and I don't like it. Yeah. I kind of like having, I have some white in my beard. I like that. I wish I did. Uh, the only I, problem with like that, that is that like naturally white hair, uh, has a different texture mm. that nobody tells you about. Like it, because it's an indication that you're dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is much more coarse. It's al dente. Of. It is a little bit al dente. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I, gosh, Gary, what about white? Can I sell you on white? I, you know, like the uh, Foley Lynn Palmer. The, I thought about that too. Like, I I think that that might make me look too ruddy. I, yeah, I think, I think you flirt with Colonel Sanders then, Yeah, which is my euphemism for dying while shitting to death on the toilet. Yeah. After eating a bunch of bowls. Yeah. The, um, yeah, I just, I, it has to be something dark because otherwise I think my, my complexion will look too ruddy movement. in comparison. Bull movement. Yeah, boy. Um, I'm just thinking about it. I haven't done it yet. I was just like, oh, maybe I should do this this dumb thing. Yeah, um, I'm trying to imagine it. I I guess like whenever anyone wants to do something like this, what they should do, and, and it's because I have a voice in my mind telling me this, is instead of actually doing this, examine whatever is driving you to do it. Yeah. And defeat that demon instead. Because there's definitely something in, like, I'm just going to, like, some kind of lack of fulfillment that's making me want to do it. I mean, at the very least, we could just do some Photoshop. That's true. Like, you that's could true. do this, like, fucking self-discovery journey to, like, the center of Gary. Or yeah. or I could just or, pop open GIMP and just, like, put some filters on. Yeah, and just see what it looks like. GIMP is and the I free like, Photoshop what? for losers. Yeah. It seems like an unfortunate name for that. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Also, the, I use uh, I use like the advanced version of Paint. Uh huh. That the name of it is Paint.net, and that's the name of the program. Yeah, <laughs> the website. It's very bad. It's pretty dumb. Like, you don't have to go with the first draft of all your names, folks. Yeah. Oh, geez. this boss is kind of wretched. Um, I think we'll call it the wretched. Uh, but wretched means to be in an unfortunate state. Yeah, wretched means to have your mouth sewed shut. So, um, uh, don't forget the multiple bumps on your face. Yeah, bumps. Uh, no bumps. One like bumps. Everyone has bumps. Yeah, I was in an improv group called Bedtime Bumps once. Yeah, and I had them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, boy. Yeah, and then we swung right on into Treasure Map. Yeah, and it's <laughs> no, no, no. Mom's it's eye. Okay. Bonza. Lemon mishap. Yeah. <laughs> Distant admiration. Yeah. Book of shadows ladder. <laughs> if you uh, if you like the show, well, what can they do? Well, Gary, they can check out the charm of the vampire before mm-hmm. checking their batteries, looking at the steam sale, reading the anarchist cookbook, flipping the hourglass, and then going to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. 
I appreciate all of those things. I think they should all be done. Yep. Equally. They are equally appreciated. They were equally appreciated, equally important in the grand scheme of things, uh, by which I mean not important at all, because I have now subscribed to the Blake Hughes method. Yeah. And meanwhile, I've really found hope and faith. I think we really learned something from each other in this, this well, episode. Gary, it's, it's yeah. really like we cross-pollinated each other with ideas. Yeah, it's the free marketplace of ideas. Gary, you know what I have to do after we stop recording? Hmm. I have to go fucking buy cat food because we're out. Ah, that's a bummer, it's man. It's 1230 in the I, morning. I've had to do that. I've gone to the plaid pantry. We only have two cans left and the goddamn cats. No shit. No shit. If we have two cans left, Gary, I don't have to go. Yeah, that's Gary, not for cats. Gary. Even I know that. Well, no, they eat three cans a day. Yeah. Gary, the spirits mm-hmm. did it. <laughs> yeah, the uh, fate. It was just one night. You know what? If you would have went, you would have gotten into a, a car accident. Oh, God, Gary, so don't was, tempt me. It was the universe protecting you. Yeah. So. Don't tempt me. The um, Maybe we need Pringles. You know what is uh, kind of an advantage of Pocket? Like over like my old cat? Like I like my old cat more than Pocket. Sorry, yeah. Pocket. <laughs> but like it's kind of a um, – is that he's a picky eater in that he only likes dry food. Oh, that's super convenient. It's really convenient. I went and bought two. I wanted to give him a treat you because know, I love him. So I went to the, uh, the the store and he eats dry treats sometimes, but they had um, Fancy Feast has these fil- these fish fillets that are just like a straight up human piece of fish, you know, okay. like just like like this is human grade fish clearly, yeah. like I could just eat this and I was like what a, you know and it's like it's it's just one serving of it and it's like two sixty seven or something like way too much for like not even a full can of cat food and I'm like boy he'll love this like I'm gonna get him this like fillet of fish and cut it up and I like. Made the, you know, put it on a little plate, made it for him and stuff. And he like licked it twice and then like gave me the look like I was the biggest fucking idiot in the world and left. Yeah. And I was like, you know what you like, man? I, I, I kind of respect that. Like, you know? Yeah. Listeners, if you could write in and let us know which you prefer, the litany that made up most of the last episode or <laughs> Gary <laughs> Butterfield's cat food reviews. Yeah. I can, <laughs> well, I'm just conveying the reviews from Pocket. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. So it, it's a, I'm just a vessel through which Pocket flows, you know. Gary, I love this stupid show. It's the yeah, only it's thing fun. that actually makes me happy. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, this is a fun, fun couple weeks. Hopefully it's a fun couple weeks for listening because we are still on air. Yeah, I know. Tonight. No, I know. I was, I was, I just, <laughs> no, I wanted that moment of sentiment. No, I know. I was just making a joke no, about Gary, it. No, Gary, I thought, joke I feel like, are all off. I feel like you didn't understand that. No, I did understand. I was trying to make a joke. You stupid fucker. I hate you and I hate doing this show. Oh, well, geez. Um, no, Gary, we're still on the air. Oh, okay. So it's still, okay. Um, after that, we did a book. Yeah, and then, uh, probably a bean. A book and a bean. A book, a bell book and a bean and a candle. The Isaac story. Good night. Good night.